We spent Ingrid's last days planning for the future we both wanted and would never have. She told me over and over again that she believed in reincarnation. She promised me that she would see me again in this life. She was correct. Here's the proof. This is Short Stories by J.B. Simeon. In the summer of 1997, my girlfriend Ingrid and I were 17 years old. We were in love, and we planned to get married after we graduated Renton High School in June of 1998. I had known Ingrid since the sixth grade. At first, I thought that she didn't like me. She used to tease me and was really mean to me. She actually made me cry a few times. I felt bad because I was really attracted to her, but I was afraid to tell her. One day, when I was really depressed about the situation, my sister told me that Ingrid was being mean to me because she probably secretly liked me. She said that sometimes girls were mean to a guy so that the guy would pay attention to them and seek their approval. She told me to grow a pair and confront Ingrid. The next day, I told Ingrid that I liked her. I asked her to be my girlfriend, and then I quickly kissed her on her lips. I must admit, I was really surprised when she kissed me back and said yes. From that day forward, Ingrid and Paul, me, were a couple. We shared a lot of good and bad stuff. This worst stuff was her battle with leukemia. She was struggling with that disease since she was eight years old. When she was 15, it looked like she had won the battle. At the end of the summer of 1997, we knew that she was losing the war. Ingrid was admitted to Swedish hospital in September. She was dying. The leukemia was killing her. We spent those last days planning for a future that we both wanted, but realized now was a dream. She told me over and over again that she believed in reincarnation. She promised me that she would see me again in this life. She said when she came back, we would be married. I could tell that she felt that to be true with all her heart. I felt that it was a beautiful lie. I thought that I would see her in heaven, but I didn't believe I'd ever see her again in this life. She passed away within three days of admission to the hospital. We buried her that same week. I loved her. Her loss destroyed me for a long time. At 22, I found Kelly. We fell in love and we got married. We have two fantastic children. We stayed together for 20 years, then we divorced. It's okay. We still love each other, but we've grown apart. Our needs are different. So we decided to restart our lives without each other. When my divorce became final, I took our kids on a vacation to Jamaica. They were in their late teens then. In Jamaica, my kids met some young people on vacation too. One afternoon, they brought the group up to our bungalow to hang out. I couldn't believe my eyes. One of the girls looked just like Ingrid when she was 17 years ago. She was an identical copy. I crossed the room to find out who she was. Everyone heard a reply. Paul, I'm Ingrid. I told you I would come back to you. She knocked the air out of me. We sat down to talk. Everyone was listening as she told me about her life as Jill Lancaster. Then she told us about her past life as Ingrid Russell, my old girlfriend. I, of course, had told the kids about Ingrid. I thought that they had found this look-alike and convinced her to play a joke on me. However, as she continued to speak, I realized that she knew details that proved she was Ingrid. Ingrid had reincarnated as she promised. That's amazing. Toward evening, the group dissipated. I'm sure that they were confounded by what they had heard. I certainly was. Ingrid and I spent the rest of the day and night talking. I was so excited to have her back. I asked her why she had not looked me up before then. She said that she only remembered who she was when she saw me. 
Then it all came back to her in an unexpected rush. Until that moment, she had no recall of a previous life. She says it had been triggered upon seeing me. I told her that I must look very different. How did she recognize me? She said she didn't know. She was my Ingrid. We fell asleep after a long discussion, cuddled together. When my kids woke us in the morning, she was Jill again. She couldn't remember anything about Ingrid. Then she got up and went back to her life as Jill Lancaster. My Ingrid Russell was gone. If my daughter had not had the presence of mind to record Ingrid's confession on her cell phone, I would not have believed this had actually happened. I'm much less certain now about what happens after death. I'm J.B. Simeon. That was the story of Here's the Proof. If you enjoyed that story, please click the like symbol below and subscribe to this channel. There will be more stories coming. Thank you and take care.